I'm Misty Copeland, soloist with American Ballet Theater. And I'm Raven Wilkinson, a retired ballet dancer, enjoying just the art of ballet and dance itself these days. Raven, congratulations on receiving the Dance USA Trustees Award. Thank you, Misty. Thank you for presenting it to me. What an honor. And I also would like to say thank you to Dance USA. Um, it's not just that I'm receiving this wonderful honoring, but I have to thank you not just for giving it to me, which is such a privilege to be able to receive it from your organization, but the fact of what you are doing for dance in the United States of America, which is truly where dance is developing and going into the future. And you, I, I can say when I started out, we didn't have anything like a structure, this corporate structure, if you will, that will assist us as dancers and artists. And I thank you so much for the efforts that you have brought forth in behalf of dancers. I must say that that's truly a dancer's world because that is what dancers do. They support each other. They go as far and as wide and get there however they can get there. And that's the spirit of the dance. And I want to thank you so much for this honoring. It, it, I carry it in my heart and soul. You've had such an incredible career dancing with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, Dutch National Ballet. You've just had such a fulfilling and incredible career and you mean so much to the ballet community. You have done for me something that I never imagined would happen halfway through my career, which was to kind of spark this amazing curiosity in me and really help me to find my place in the ballet world um, as, as an African-American ballerina. So the world should know about you because you've done so much for me um, and I think I'm kind of carrying that light that you gave me for the next generation of brown ballerinas. Thank you. <laughs> what an honor for you to say that to me, Misty. Coming from you, that's such an honor and such an honor to receive this Trustees Award. Good. I'm glad truly, that you feel truly that way honored. Too. Yes. What have been moments for you that have stood out in, in your career as a ballerina? Well, I, I think the first thing was to get into a company like the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo and um, because I had such endeavor and I realized it was going to be very difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't know why one doesn't think of this right away, but I think with hope you just mm -hmm. charge ahead. I received my first, my first solo, The Waltz and Les Soufis. Are you going to do it? <laughs> I will be premiering The Waltz this season. Oh, and isn't that amazing? <laughs> I hope your jetés are good. I know they are. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about a person to make it as a ballerina number one, but to be in, in your shoes um, in the time that you were um, introduced to the ballet world and started out as a professional. Um, even if you don't feel that you are in a place where you have a voice or you feel that you're representing so many, you were and you are. And I think you have to be an incredibly strong person and passionate to stick it out even when times are extremely tough as you experienced. So, Thank you for sticking it out, because that's why I'm here. Well, that's how, <laughs> how you were supposed to be here. As dancers, that's what we always do. Yes. I think anybody will understand that. It's, Dance it's USA true. will certainly understand yeah. that from Absolutely. putting forth that structure to preserve and Absolutely. carry on dance. What advice do you have for emerging dancers of color? Oh. Just keep at it. Yeah. Just keep going and always have hope and leave yourself open for times that are disappointing. Mm -hmm. Nothing goes straight up. It's in those times that you learn the most sometimes. Absolutely. And um, But don't get discouraged. I mean, it's natural to feel a little discouraged and depressed. I can't tell you how many times I cried and ached inside. Reading the mission from Dance USA, 
I see all of us being carried in, on in the field of the classical ballet, in arts in general. I mean, in, yes, arts in general, but certainly the art of dance, mm -hmm. which includes so many things. But it is certainly so strong, and I am just so joyful about that. What do you see for the future of classical ballet in this country? Well, you know, I, I think I think it, it will rise again, you know? <laughs> and I think it, it always has been rising to its heights, and it will continue to do so. I cannot see the death of ballet, because it's such a beautiful art, and it says so much to the audience. So it you just, see a very bright future. I do. I do. I do. It hasn't died in all these hundreds of years. I don't, I don't think we could kill it yet. <laughs> well, it's so alive, and you are part of that reason. And I want to you again say congratulations on this honor. Well, I have to be so honored that you are saying that to me. It is such an honor for me. Love you. <laughs> mm.